An Alabama senator and prisoner of war in Vietnam died this week in Virginia Beach. Retired Rear Admiral Jeremiah Denton was famous for blinking the word torture in Morse code, sending a secret message to American intelligence officials. His place in history is a source of great pride for his family. They shared their memories with 10 on your side photojournalist Ken Becker. We are honored. Had the opportunity. He galvanized the country in a sense when he got off the plane and made that short um, speech. And he happened to say something that many of your viewers remember. At that time, it gave people something to be proud of um, in a war that had been so controversial. This is a really deep emotional thing inside of him, which which was driven by a great sense of compassion. And I think that's often missed in the public sort of image that we get when you read through these stories. Well, Dad was uh, a very strong force in all of our lives. And um, he's a standard by which we all measure ourselves. And a man among men. And an absolute dedication to the principles that he uh, was willing to fight for, uh, whether it was in the military, whether it was on the golf course. He would take us out fishing and we'd, he'd tell stories of golf. He was competitive in all, you know, all facets of life, which helped push us to be better, better men. Most important thing that uh, people need to understand about him is that his faith was central to everything that he did. But the causes that he took on with such conviction. Even those that had had him in captivity and tortured him. He came back and said, the problem is the poverty there. I couldn't admire or be more proud of him, the life that he led, and the legacy that he left behind. Admiral Jeremiah Denton was 89 years old.